I think like a lady I'm absolutely glowing. That's because I'm in a house that has central heating on a very mild autumnal day, but I've been trying on everything that I'm going to take to my yurt that I'm moving into just next week on Tuesday, right? So it's Friday today, so just a few days left. And so I'm <laughs> boiling. But anyway, I had the most brilliant time shopping at Hatfield Galleria yesterday and buying the last few things that I need, I hope anyway, to to be able to be comfortable, warm and and uh, and all that sort of thing for, for the winter in a yurt, high up in the Cambrian Mountains in Wales in the middle of Welsh wilderness really. I mean I'm not isolated but I can't see anybody from the yurt that I'll be living in which is amazing. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you what I bought. So I got another fleece. I think I got a slightly too small one and uh, so I'm boiling in this and then I bought a really really cozy snuggly sort of jumper thing to to uh, keep me all snuggly and warm and I got some new snuggly pajamas which are very cute I'm trying not to go too masculine and and like I'm a camper I want to to retain some level of femininity and silliness to be honest and I got a couple more base layers um, that will keep me warm and then I had to get things that were a little bit practical that weren't clothing so because I'm off-grid electricity wise I bought myself two of these little babies and I can just wrap them around one or two of the struts in, in the yurt and that will help me see and help me read and not feel like I'm, I'm just in a very dim place, which it is just with candlelight, of course. And then I bought myself a little flat bottom kettle so I can make myself tea inside the yurt and that will either sit on the top of the um, stove, the, the wood burning stove, or I'm sneaking in a little camping gas stove and I can put it on there. So I'm very excited about that. Isn't that cute? I love it. And, um, and then somewhere here, oh, yes, I have some fleecy fingerless gloves so that my hands don't get quite so cold when I work in the office, which apparently is not heated. And so I might still be able to use my fingers on the keyboard and not be frozen stiff like that. And then the piece de resistance, everybody said, oh, you've got to get wellies. I don't like wellies. I don't like them at all. They don't support my feet and they're not cosy and warm. And I thought they're not really necessarily going to help me so much if it snows. And of course the forecast is that it's going to be an unbelievably snowy winter. So I invested in these snow boots. <laughs> Look at the tread on there. They are amazing. They will keep me dry. They will keep me warm. They are comfortable. I love them. And I did in a bit of an apprentice deal in the trespass shop in, in um, Hatfield Galleria where they looked after me brilliantly. If you need very good price, very good quality, uh, stuff to keep you warm and to be out in the wilderness then go to Trespass uh, they're fantastic and the guys are just brilliantly helpful when you're by the time you've got your <sighs> the guys in Trespass are really helpful once they actually see that you're there I did have to flag them down a little bit I did feel invisible to begin with but by the time they noticed me and worked with me and completely love the whole concept of what I'm doing they couldn't have helped me more anyway I will no doubt see you the other side of my moving in I'm off to a workshop on practical geomancy tomorrow with Patrick McManaway. So I'm really excited about that and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.